So I'm sitting here, right, and I've been doing a lot of the side stuff, and I'm realizing now that I have no reason to do any of that. Like fighting the ladies and doing the the the, the, the mirror stuff, because all I get out of it is Tears of Atonement at this point. <laughs> so in that case, I'm just going to not. But anyways, today... What we're going to be doing is some very fun and interesting stuff. I think this might not be the best way of going about getting here. Yeah, this is probably quicker. Let's find out. But we're going to be doing um, very cool and good things, you know. Oh god. Let me just, like, ignore her. If you ignore them, then they go away eventually. That worked out a lot better than I thought it would initially. I have something in my sock. Why do I have to have things in my socks? Why is this even in my house? God, happens way too often. I definitely needed to commentate that, all right? This was very important for me to do. All right. There he is, the key man himself. I had to talk to this guy. What's up, dude? Yes, you are. My gratitude for quelling such an unbearable sound. Says the guy with a bunch of keys around his neck. We are in the library of denied words. For the pages that lie within the all that the company. Okay. You're welcome, Dio's Dado. Did somebody say uh, Dio? Anyways. I'm gonna be using my favorite means of uh What's yours? Okay, thanks, pal. Alright. My favorite means of getting around. I forget if I had shown that yet or not. Wait, did I? No. He should be back up here now. Why do people have to be flying airplanes and stuff? No, he should be over here. You know, when I when 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 I decided to come back over here. Um, and be near an airport. I guess I should have expected there to be, you know, air travel. Yes, stay This guy can identify keys by sight. That's kind of interesting. I've given it? Why have I given it to him? Excuse me? What happens now, I wonder? Oh! Huh! That's uh, not something I was expecting. Of what sleeps there. That is very not something I was expecting. <laughs> well, so much for going down into. Um, I legitimately forgot what the name of the area was. Ah, ah, I knew it. That's always how it works. What is that? Strange artifact, said to be found within the corpse of the fiercest bulls. Also can the egg of the sovereign. Uh, whatever. Ex increasing attack speed when health is low. Permanent mark caused by a masterpiece that transcends all and any borders. That sounds like important lore to Blasphemous too. Maybe, I wouldn't... I wouldn't know, I ain't played Blasphemous 2. No one has. Well, I'm sure there are probably some people that have played Blasphemous 2, technically, based on it being in development, and honestly, I would imagine relatively far along in development for... Oh. Hey! It's, it's everybody's favorite Son of the Miracle. I think. I'd imagine. Mr. Golden Face himself. Of the silent steps. Yes. Approach this face of pale gold with empty sockets instead of eyes. I know a couple people like that. You stand before the roots of the knotted tree of the three words. Oh. These form the bars of my captivity. That sucks. They claim that my words are false and that mine is the face of deception. Oh boy. And for this reason. I have been exiled from my three other brothers. Oh. The Holy Guardian Visages. It's another golden visage. They betrayed me, 
punished me and ripped out my eyes so I could no longer be a witness to the truth. This is quite unfortunate. Now there is only infinite darkness around me. What do you want me to do about it? Passion help you in the search for my stolen golden eyes. You know, I know of a manga quite like that, except it's not the eyes. One of them can be found dun, dun, dun. in a inhabited by gold, <laughs> ash, and song. Hum. The other can be found in a dried up sea to which ships had to die amidst the terrible thunder. Sounds, uh, yeah, I, I think I know where that might be. For only then will I be able to reveal my secret to you. <laughs> well, I guess we are going to, uh, um, Havoc and Ruin. I want to say that's what it is. No, I'm thinking of Strife and Ruin. Why am I able to see here? Oh, because I haven't gone Morning and Havoc. So, just because I already kind of know just a little bit, for one, the ossuary, I'm going to have to find one more bone before I go to the ossuary. And I want to say that's up here somewhere. But we all know that it might not be, and I'm just wrong or something. But before that... We're going to have a bit of fun in Mourning and Havoc, and by we, I mean not actually me, but you know what, that's, that's, I guess, a me problem. Anyways, whatever. Sayonara. This is very important, okay, I'm doing very important things in my very important self. Uh, I don't remember if this is easier to get to than... Well, whatever. You know what? I like doing the most um, screwed things sometimes. This is a whole heck of a lot easier. It's faster travel time-wise, alright? I am obsessed with convenience. What are you going to do about it? Anyways, onward, downward to... I guess this is technically the Mothers of Mothers. Yep. Told you, fellas! It's the Mother of Mothers. Connected up here. <laughs> uh, this is gonna suck a lot. Morning and Havoc is full of um, weird things that I don't quite like or understand enemy wise. Oh, hey, cool. Yeah, that works. But yeah, um, it's gonna be a real fun ride. Let's just describe it that way. I wonder if there's anything over here. Hey, look, nothing. All right, yeah. Who could have seen that one coming? Whatever. But I don't see why I would have had to consult the first baseman if I wanted to know, you know, who, you ask? Exactly, who? I'm very intelligent and funny. All right. If I steal a joke, then it's, like, technically mine if I deliver it. You know, I don't know why I even bother to use the mea culpa for anything at this point, seeing as I'm at half damage. Yeah, there we go. These things! I hate them. Because they pop up out of nowhere, and they just do contact damage on spawn. Even if you can't see them. And then they... Like that! Wow! How nice of the game to immediately show what I was talking about. And it's quite a bit of damage, too. Oh, jeez. Excuse me. So, yes, I've come to say, to think, basically, um, just avoid enemies. <laughs> I would much rather... What is this? Da -da 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 it was of little use to the poor ruffian, for all defense is useless against the mighty seas. Uh, increasing all defenses when flasks... Okay. Well, I hope to not have empty flasks all that often. But I suppose it is useful when it is. You know what? I, I would actually like to know um, 
if the defense buffs and uh, I think it's attack. There's another one that is similar. It's based in attack. I want to know if those buffs are better than oh boy, than the uh, oh god here it comes. Yep, yep, yeah. All right. <laughs> no more, Mister. No more, Mister. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say something stupid, but you're you're welcome. I didn't. You know, oh, actually, I think my game is. Never mind. Look at that, though. You gotta love it. Ha ha ha! I can't even. Whatever. Now, why do I continuously try to fight the enemies? Good question. Like, that is garbage, though. Imagine being utter garbage. Is there something above me? I want to say yes, but I also want to say no, so that I don't have to go across that platform again and take damage again, because... Fun and fair gameplay. Now, I know that I complain a lot about fun and fair gameplay, but... Um, Morning and Havoc is the... is the epitome of fun and fair gameplay. I'll just put it that way. I do not like you say my am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Here's what we do, fellas. That should have lowered the... No, it didn't. Well, it worked the first time. Alright. So whatever. Let's just kill this man. I really... This has been basically the game for me. Um... This entire playthrough has been this, um, using blood, all that jazz, you know. It ain't terrible, but it's a bit annoying. I really wish these things didn't exist. This entire place honestly just, just a little bit confuses me, but it's not the worst in the world, I guess. Yeah, of course I did that. <sighs> yeah, this probably has a thing up here. But that's not for me to worry about right now. Watch, it's going to come back like instantly. Yep. Don't hurt me, please. Okay. That did not hit her. I did not hit her. I did not. Anyways, is there anything of interest down here besides a lot of pain? The answer is no, apparently. Yeah, there is nothing down here besides pain. Okay. Good to know! <laughs> what a waste of time! Anyways, it's... it seems... Seeming, sim, sim. Seems to be a lot of the same kind of thing. I think that's what I'm getting at here. Well, actually, I have been here before. I've been in this section. But a lot of the ships start to look the exact same. So, yeah. Is this... Ooh, I see that. Not that I'd be able to reach it, but, you know, it'd be interesting if I could. Oh, whatever. Let's just jump. Might as well. Oh, God. This sucks. Alright. Jumping up ladders time. It's what I do. I eat, John. Ha-ha! Sucker. For whatever reason, I think that might actually just be a... a specific thing about the, the, the dash attack. It still puts some enemies into a um, an executable state sometimes uh, part of me kind of wants to go back and see what's up here but the other part of me doesn't so you know what I'm gonna get to the bit that I think there's a boss battle in and then after that I think I will leave it for another day because, boy, do I not want to spend more time here than I have to. <laughs> oh, boy, do I not. 
Hey, look, the area, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to fight a Kraken or something. Ho oh, ho. Oh, yeah, I never listened to this man's weeping tears. Let's see it. We must return. I saw the shadow. I saw the gold under the black waters. We must return. The sea trembles when she is close at hand. Aha! This used to be underwater. Maybe. I'd assume. There's a very... Well, I guess there's not really a lack of water. There's kind of water in the desecrated cistern. And the one pool where you can get things blessed. Other than that, actually... I guess there isn't much water. But you know, that's none of my concern. Let's show you the bits I uh, unlocked just because I could, huh? This was a whole deal. Sort of. Well, I guess this isn't it, but yeah. Is it? No, this goes up to over here. I never came back here. I forget what that was. Well, hey, I may as well show this off. Hey, look, a boat. Isn't that nice? We're reusing it. But um, it was some, it was a whole thing that some people figured out was that uh, I want to say I showed it off in a, in a past episode. Okay, yes, I have. The waters are tranquil and the dark is like the blackest of marble. My face is reflected in them as in a mirror of darkness which me from escaping its gaze. Well, that's kind of... What a profound observation but I want to say I um, saw this quite a lot in the last episode of the episode before this part right here anyways some people figured out that if you're standing right about here and you do one of these um, it it lowers the ladder thus opening this area thus allowing you to travel to this area <laughs> And into the mother of mothers. <laughs> from an area that is not at all blocked off from the beginning of the game. And not even really all that hard to get to. I think I did mention this in the last episode. You gotta go through Hondo. But you can skip the first three bosses. And you don't have to go through this the door on the bridge. So that's pretty funny. But, you know. Oversight. 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 Actually, hold on. I don't want to do that. What I really want to do is get out of here. That is not the right prayer. What I really want to do is end the episode. <laughs> Anyways. On the next episode, we're going to be fighting some sea-themed boss in a ship in a ship graveyard. Ooh. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will beat you to death. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.